Well, he has a new Disney project and is now starring in Netflix's That 90 Show. Yep, you heard right. And this month, he is doing his part to help end child poverty. Joining us right now, Mr. Wilmer Valderrama. Wilmer, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Very happy to be with you. Uh, glad we got that whole microphone thing worked out. Tell me, before we get to the other exciting stuff, you got it in your hand. I see it there. The Red Nose Day, we've seen it over the years, right? It has a huge significance and a lot of importance. Tell me all about it. No, I'm really excited. You know, I, I, I've been a part of this campaign for a long time. This is the first time where I, I, I'm able to jump in on the fundraiser and, and uh, be part of the campaign itself. Um, but uh, I'm really happy, man. It's really cool. I love what it stands for. I love what it's about. And uh, for those of you who, uh, who don't know much about the Red Nose Day, uh, it's, uh, it's a Walgreens Red Nose Day. It's a fundraiser campaign run by the nonprofit organization uh, Comic Relief U.S. And uh, it's dedicated to help uh, and end the uh, cycle of child poverty and uh, ensure a healthy future for all children. Um, and I love it. I love it so much. It's a, it's a silly campaign. It's a fun campaign, but it's an, an incredibly uh, critical conversation we got to have. And um, having a daughter myself, this is, uh, you know, a 14 month old daughter that um, it's a it's a really exciting and personal thing to to be a part of. Yeah. And, you know, we we're so lucky with all our problems in this country. But really, when you look at it, we're so lucky with what we do have. Um, if you don't get perspective on what the rest of the world has to suffer through. So this is super important. Um, how can people at home get involved and what inspired you to get involved? Well, it's super simple uh, for you at home. Uh, you know, the campaign has been at Walgreens exclusively for the last eight years in a row, right? And uh, the Red Nose uh, finally is back at uh, in stores after a two year digital uh, uh, campaign. The last two years due to the pandemic, you couldn't go to the store and get your nose, you know, mm. but. You know, customers can donate uh, by purchasing uh, a red nose, you know, for a dollar, or you can donate any cash you can in stores or online. And uh, donations are also accepted online at walgreens.com slash red nose day, which also unlocks like a, a red nose filter that you can uh, wear on <laughs> Facebook. <Cool. laughs> this is super, you can, so you can participate yeah. in the day. But it's, it's incredibly personal to me, man, because I, when I first came to the United States back in the early 90s, I remember the struggle. I remember the sacrifices my parents. We had a very, very humble beginning. Um, and, I, and I realized how important it is to create an environment for children to succeed uh, and to just have a shot. Um, I look at my 14 month old daughter and I'm just so blessed that I get up in the morning and keep swinging, you know, but I, I also reflect on you know, what the last two years have been like for so many families um, and, and the toll that it took on children, you know, and I just feel like these campaigns, these conversations need to be had. And uh, I'm just excited they invited me to be part of it. And I love this, you know, the Walgreens and the Red Nose uh, Day thing. And uh, my daughter already loves the nose. <laughs> She's like already obsessed with it. Um, but it's fun. It's beautiful to be, to be showing up at a time where we're actually resurfacing from this pandemic. So. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, good stuff, man. You know, I wish we had more time because I know I'm ex I was a big fan of Fez and that 70s show. So I'm excited to see that 90s show and how that's going to I know you're going to be in that. And then the kids want to see the Zorro coming to Disney. But we need you in studio to talk more about all that. And by the way, the 14 month old daughter thing, my daughter. San Diego is a, it's a very dear place to me. That's yes. where I got engaged. That's oh. it. So I uh, yeah, so come I, over I love, and visit us. Any time. By the way, that 14 month old daughter, you're going to blink and you're going to have a 12 year old in middle school like me. And I'm like, what happened? What happened to my 14 month old? She just started walking, Dude. like literally four. I was like, what is she doing? Like, this is like, she was, it's pretty crazy. It goes yeah. fast. It goes fast. Wilma, you have time before your daughter comes home and starts saying, all these boys think I'm cute. They want to go, no, 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 no. She's seen for a rude awakening. I'll tell no. you that. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, it's been, yeah. By the way, you know, I lived three months in Caracas when I left Cuba, so we have a lot in common. Come visit. I got to go. They're telling me I got to go. Caracas, Venezuela. Okay, okay, okay. Next my time, man. Next time. All right, my man. Good talking to you, friend. All right.